In this week's Fix the Photo, I'm actually going to work on two different images and make some adjustments to show you how I feel they could be improved. These images come from this particular week's challenge, which was black on black. You can see all of the entries here, or you can see them over on our blog. So let's take a look at the shots that I want to work on. The first one is by Frank Charlery Adele. And the second one is by Narat Mazbax. Uh, both excellent images, looking at them, fantastic uh, work, but I feel there's a few things that could be adjusted to make them a little bit stronger. Let's start with Frank's image first. Now, if we take a look at the before and after, here's what I've done to the image. That's what it was when we received the image into our weekly challenge. So here's the adjustments I've made. Let me walk you through those adjustments step by step. So the first adjustment was, I've labeled it better rim lighting. If we look at the image that Frank sent, sent in, you can barely see separation from the back of the head or the front of the neck or certain parts of the face and the hair. And that separation needs to be better. The lighting on the subject is fantastic and the, uh, the headdress and everything else looks amazing. Um, so, so that's all good, but the rim lighting needs to be a bit stronger. So I've just boosted that up. And I've also added a little bit of light down the edge of the jawline there, as you can see. So you can see a little bit more light running down here with a little bit of a dodge tool that I've run that in. This is just done very roughly and very quickly so you can get the idea of what's going on. So we needed a little bit of better rim lighting there for better separation. The next thing is I wanted to reshape the tension from the shoulders. And if we take a look at the image, so that's what we received and that's what we've adjusted it to. So just changing the feeling of tension in the shoulders by just reshaping that a little bit. And you'll also notice at the top of the head, that's been adjusted slightly as well on the hair at the top of the head. And finally, uh, the last thing for even better separation was to add a background glow. Now, this is something that the photographer could have done with lighting the background at the time of taking it. I've just done it very roughly in Photoshop by putting a separation glow behind the subject. And again, with that, we can also adjust the opacity uh, to whatever we desire to get the uh, separation to the right level. So those are the uh, basic adjustments that I've made. So it's gone from that to that to essentially make the, uh, the hero of the shot stand out better. Let's move on to Narek's shot. Narek's got a wonderful shot there. Here's what I've done to the shot. I've taken it to that. That was the original. And this is my reworked version. So let's take a look through each of the steps to get to that reworked version. So starting with a copy of the original image here, nothing changed there. First tweak is a little bit of contrast adjustment to lift up uh, the subject's left arm. That's the arm on our right hand side. Next lift is the lapel on the jacket, as you can see there. Next lift is the whole shoulder and arm on camera left. That's the subject's right side that you can see there. Then uh, some broader contrast changes across various parts of the image, including the shoulders, areas of the jacket, um, and the face using some burn dodge darkening in that flare area on the left, not eliminating it entirely, but just darkening it in a little bit. Then some further burn and dodge to lift up particular lines of highlights on the jacket, as you can see there. And then that uh, burn layer wasn't actually used. Then uh, a lift on the glass that the gentleman is holding. So just lifting up the tone on that slightly and that's everything in there. Then on the next layer is an overall contrast increase and that contrast increase was actually achieved by just using the auto uh, contrast adjustment in Photoshop which I find often pushes it 
too far, uh, but then I'll just use the edit and fade it back a little bit uh, and then maybe utilize a mask to, to use the bits that I want and don't want. But in this case, just pulling it back arrived at that particular point there. And then finally, I used a LUT, a color lookup table, just to add a sort of selenium tone look, which was an old darkroom technique. And then that just gives the image that lovely tonality and slight uh, shift in the color, as you can see there. So if we look at the total adjustments, that's what we've got. And that's what we came from. Um, for those of you who want to know, the color lookup I used was the Futuristic Bleak 3DL, and then I've got it knocked back uh, to about 60% there. Now, if you'd like to enter our Photography Weekly Challenges or our regular critique or brief shows, then head over to Carl Taylor Education. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.